How do you store your wax tokens and NFTs on a Ledger hardware wallet? How do you create one of those custom wax addresses that you see all the influencers using? I'm going to be answering those questions in today's video. And as usual, for those of you who prefer written guides instead of videos, I've generously compiled all of this information into an article that I've posted on Leo Finance, which I will link in the description below. Before I get into the video, I do need to let you guys know that I am not a financial advisor and that all of the content on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. Also, if you like straightforward reviews and tutorials about different cryptocurrency projects without all of the pump and dump stuff that you see on other channels, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Prerequisites. Before we get into the tutorial, there are a few things that you're going to need. You'll need an existing Wax wallet. If you don't have one, Go check out my video on how to create a Wax Cloud Wallet, which I'll link below. You're also going to need a little bit of Wax tokens in your Wax Cloud Wallet. You only need about one Wax in your wallet. And lastly, you'll need a Ledger hardware wallet with the EOS app installed on it. I'm not going to show you how to install apps on your Ledger device in this video, but you can install them by downloading the Ledger Live software from Ledger's website, ledger.com, which I'll link below as well. Step one is to download the Anchor Wallet. The first thing that you need to do is download the Anchor Wallet from graymess.com, which I'll link below as well. Click on the download for free today button. Then it's going to ask you which operating system you want to install the software on. Click the download button for your respective operating system and then download the software. Step two, setting up your Anchor Wallet. Now that you have the Anchor Wallet installed on your system, you're going to need to go ahead and set things up. When you open the program for the first time, it's going to ask you if you want to create a new account or import an existing account. Go ahead and click create new account. Before you can proceed, it's going to ask you to create a password. Go ahead and create a nice strong password. Back it up in a safe place so that you don't lose it. And then you can proceed to the next step. Once you have your password set, it's going to ask you to choose a blockchain. Anchor Wallet is compatible with several different blockchains, but since this tutorial is about setting up a Wax wallet, we're going to be selecting the Wax blockchain. So go ahead and select Wax blockchain, and you're going to land on this screen right here. Now you need to go ahead and unlock your Ledger wallet and make sure the EOS app is opened on your device. Click on the little USB icon at the top right and click Enable Ledger Service. Please note that this will not work if you don't have your hardware wallet unlocked and the EOS app open on your device. Once your wallet is connected, the USB icon should turn green and then you can proceed with the tutorial. Click on the Import an Existing Account button, then click Load from Ledger. You may get a message pop up that says no accounts found with this public key. That's completely fine because we actually haven't even created the account yet. So don't worry about that. You should also note that your ledger contains many different addresses under what are known as indexes. By default, the address that gets loaded should be index zero. If you click on the ledger settings tab, you'll notice that your public key corresponds with the path that ends in the number zero. If you type a different number into the key index tab and click load accounts, you'll notice that your public key changes to a different address. You can use any index number that you like, but whichever one you choose, make sure you take note of it because if you send any tokens or NFTs to this account, you will not be able to access them in the future unless you are connected to the proper index. For example, if you follow this tutorial and set up an account using index three, and then you open your anchor wallet six months from now using index zero, you're gonna be confused because you won't see any assets in your account and you're gonna be wondering, what happened? You need to make sure that you always connect to the proper index in order to access the proper account. For the sake of this tutorial, please connect to index zero right now so that we can all be on the same page. It'll be easier for all of us that way. Copy the public key that starts with EOS and paste it into a notepad file. Step three, Wax Cloud Wallet. Now that you have your Anchor Wallet set up and your public key stored in a notepad file, you'll need to log in to your Wax Cloud Wallet. Click on the little gear icon at the bottom right hand side of the screen. This will take you to the settings panel. Now click create new Wax account and you'll see three fields that you need to fill out here. Remember that public key that you stored in a notepad file in the last step? You're going to copy and paste that key into both the owner public key and the active public key fields. It's gonna be the same key for both fields. So take that key from your notepad file and paste it into both fields. The third field is going to be your account name. This needs to be exactly 12 characters long, no more and no less than 12 characters. You can use the numbers one through five in your account name, and you can use any lowercase letter A through Z. 
Once everything's filled out, it should look something like this. You'll notice that there's a cost of about 0.4 wax for this, which is why I told you at the beginning of the tutorial that you need to have about one wax in your account. Now click on Create Wax Account and approve the transaction. Now you can go back to the Anchor Wallet, click on the little home icon and click import an existing account. Then click load from ledger and you'll notice that you no longer get the this account does not exist error. Instead, you should see your new username that you just created. Go ahead and select both accounts and click the import accounts button. If you've made it this far, congratulations, you did it. You should now be able to view your new custom wax address and view your assets that you have in your account. And now you should be able to use any Wax dApps that are compatible with the Anchor Wallet. If you have any other questions, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and click the notification bell. If you're confused about what RAM, CPU, and NET are, make sure to go check out my video that I posted yesterday that explains how all those things work. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.